In this presentation, we're going to present to you how to utilize Visual Check on the EVA system app. You log in into the EVA app with your PIN code, and then you'll start your colposcopy examination. Start colposcopy. I put in the patient medical record number, put in the patient name, and I click next and the date of birth and I can start. Upon clicking start exam, the camera opens, opens up and I can point my EVA device towards the cervix. Now I'm pointing it out into a picture, but basically when you point it out to a real cervix, you should also see this uh, frame that moves somewhere between white and green that basically provide to me an indication of the quality of the image that will be captured. You can see here that I'm pointing it out and the frame uh, pops up. This is the time that I will capture the image. I will capture several images of this specific cervix. So I'll be able to run it uh, on several images of the specific examination for the visual check. And now I click next as I'm done. I can see the images here. You can see that they are in sufficient quality both for me as an expert in colposcopy and both for the prediction uh, classifier, basically visual check, and we'll see it in a minute. Then I can see the exam summary. I can see everything, all the information that I put in. I can see the Medify. I can also run visual check from this point, but it is recommended to allow to the images to sync to the cloud. So I will finish up the exam, finish it up, done. And then I can go to my exam list where it says uploading and see the exam that I just did. You can see that it is, it is still in progress, but it is visual check ready. And now it's already done to upload all the images. I click on it. And from the exam summary, I can start and run visual check. There is a disclaimer for it, as it is a clinical decision support tool. I will read it out. Um, so basically by using the visual check analysis, you acknowledge and agree that visual check is not intended to be used as a diagnostic tool and cannot replace your professional medical judgment or a diagnostic procedure. Any, any decision made based on visual check or its output is at your sole responsibility and liability. I click confirm. Basically this disclaimer will pop up on every run of visual check, just as a reminder that it, that it is a clinical decision support tool and not a diagnostic tool. I click confirm and then we can see that visual check runs basically it runs on the images that i captured before and will provide the result of this examination you can see it took less than 10 seconds and i got a result of this exam that it is abnormal basically there are suspected suspected positive findings and the images analyzed are consistent with those that our human experts have has evaluated and determined to be abnormal and it is recommended to further uh, examine this specific patient I click done and I can see the result of the visual check along with the exam summary of the specific patients, the media file and the additional data on it. Um, this is it, exam is saved, I'm done. And basically I can start new colposcopy or run visual check on previous exam taken on this device. Thank you.